so that is awesome, man. Got my cross and got my gold. Yeah, I'm just doing my first look. So I'm going to play some more. I still got a lot of very good other stuff. Back out the lakes again today. Um, I'm going to try to hit three lakes. If I'm finding a lot at one lake, I may not hit the other ones. But uh, anyway, we've got three on schedule and uh, we'll see how we do. But I just got out here. It's about uh, six o'clock. Got my first ring about five minutes into the water. It's going to be this stainless steel ring. Uh, I think it's stainless steel. It's ringing up like a 46, 45, somewhere around there. But uh, been digging some trash and this. So that's a good sign that maybe it hasn't been hunted. So we'll see. So let's get to swinging. Let's just keep seeing what else we get out here in the lake and uh, hopefully we'll find some good gold today. Let's keep it going. I'm going to go 60 to 64 here. Sounds different. Could be something. Yep. Thought well, I was getting a 60 to 64, jumping all around, so I knew it was going to be something. And uh, I was hoping it's going to be a ring, but it's going to look looks like it's going to be a stainless steel type of chain. But I'll take that. That's a good find. I'll look at the clasp later on, but I think it's going to be stainless steel for sure. So, a ring and a necklace. So, let's keep swinging see what else we can get. Well, out here in about shoulder deep water, and uh, got a Sound like a pull tab, actually. Sound like a 53, 54. Sound like just like a pull tab. So I've been digging them anyway. I ended up preacher digger got his cross. So now it's an episode. Yes, it's an episode now. So got a nice cross. First one for the year, right there, and it came with a dog tag as well. So check that out. Nothing engraved on it, but it's a nice little find. So let's keep swinging out in the deep end. Let's see what we can come up with. 60 in here. Yes, check it out, guys. Finally got gold. Finally got gold. Check that out. Yeah, it almost looks like a homemade ring. Finally got gold. Yes. It looks like a homemade ring almost. It's got some uh, design on it. I can't tell exactly what it is. I don't see any markings in it or anything, but... Bring it up like a 60, real jumpy, and uh, right on top of the ground. So, that is awesome, man. Got my cross and got my gold today. And I'm just in my first lake. So, hopefully there's going to be a few more. I still got a lot of area to cover. So, let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Gold, baby, yes! Getting a 70 to 74. Jumping around sounds like a penny and a nickel in the same hole, but I don't think that it is, so. Nope, check that out. But check that out. That's going to be a nice little necklace there. It's got a big hole uh, for a chain, so I'm going to make a few circles in here, see if we can't find the chain that may have gone with this. So that's a good find. So let's keep looking. Let's keep uh, seeing what else we can get. It's getting a real staticky. I'm down here about way, uh, shoulder deep water, so I can't get my chest cam in here very good. Y'all see that? Please let that be gold. Got 
got this uh, gold chain. I don't think it's going to be real gold. It doesn't feel heavy, but uh, this doesn't look. It looks gold, but I don't think it's real gold. So, but I'll let you know here in the video. Anyway, another good find. Let's keep on rolling. Let's see if we can't find another gold ring. Yeah, 46, 47 here. Can we skip? It's going to be a, another. Well, got another ring here, 46, 47. And uh, it's got a little design on it. Don't know what it is. It says I love you on the inside. It's just a stainless steel ring. But hey, I'll take that. My third ring out of here. And uh, so I'm going to make another sweep through the shallows. And then I'm going to head on off to another lake. So if I find something, I'll show you. If not, I'll see you at the next lake. Well, I made it out to my next lake. There's hardly any, there's nobody here actually, maybe two or three people. So yeah, maybe this weekend, it was a busy weekend. They dropped a lot of stuff and so I'm going to go fish it out and see if we can find it. Anyway, when I find something good, I put the camera on, I'll show you. So let's get out in the water, let's get to swinging. There's 66 here. Yes. That's a big one. That's bigger than my finger. I just got in the water. I've dug three quarters and I got a 66 here. And uh, this is a huge tungsten ring. And uh, so that's a good sign that maybe there's going to be some more out here. So let's get to swinging. Let's see what else we can find. Maybe find some gold. I haven't got silver today. I got stainless. I got tungsten. I got gold. Uh, let's see what else we can get. All right, let's keep swinging. Well, still out here a little over waist deep water, still in the same area where I found that other ring. I was getting a 42 to a 44, real choppy, and it's always indicative of a stainless steel ring or some junk, but uh, it happens to be a beautiful black with red stainless steel ring, so I'll take it, but I'd rather have gold or silver, so let's keep swinging. Let's see what else we can get. Well come up on the other end of the swim area got an 8081 think it was going to be a dime popped it up and it's a uh, it's going to be I don't know one of those Catholic uh, pendants I don't know if it's a uh, it looks like Jesus and he's all blinged out <laughs> he's got lots of bling on him got lots of diamonds but uh, it was ringing up high like silver so I don't know if it's I can't see any markings on it right now but uh, you'll see in the video anyway that's a nice find Let's, uh, let's keep swinging. We're going to make our way back to the other end. And, and if I don't find anything, we're going to head on to the lake, another lake. And uh, but so far, two rings and this pendant. Uh, not too bad. Been out here for about an hour and a half. So let's keep swinging, see what else we get. Well, my first lake was in Texas. I got, what, three, four rings there. Second lake was in Louisiana. I got two rings there. Third lake is in Arkansas. Well, so let's see what I can get here. Who's going to win, Texas? Or Arkansas, so let's get to swinging. Well, I came back over from that last lake. I went to another lake up in Arkansas, didn't find anything. Went to another lake, and the swimming area was closed because of the flooding. So, on my way home, I stopped at uh, Lake I Always Stop at, you know, up here uh, just north of me and the swimming area is still full of people. But uh, just working around it, I ended up getting a 60 something, very very deep, about six inches deep because this water's flooded. It's up on the, the sand and I never hunt the sand, but now the water's up on the beach. And dug down and uh, ended up getting that uh, copper studded looking ring. It's gonna be CZ copper. But anyway, that's pretty nice find, I'll take it. So let's keep swinging, see what else we can find. Just too far away from that ring I've got what I've been looking for all day other than it's not a, a ring I got a gold ring earlier this morning I ended up getting a gold uh, chain right here 
and uh, diamond studded looking chain and uh, so I can't read it. it looks like it's got uh, maybe 14k on it uh, it definitely feels gold looks gold so that's going to be my last find of this video so I'm going to quit right there and uh, happy about that so it was worth my stop through here got two good finds and uh, so now we're going to go up and, and uh, do a wrap up so I'll see you guys up at the wrap up whoa I am tired it's been a long day. I've been up since 4.30 this morning out on the road. I've been to three states and uh, I've been to one, two, three, four, five lakes. Five lakes. Two uh, were, uh, didn't find anything at one lake and the other lake was flooded out so I couldn't even hunt it. So I hit this lake here on my way home and I'm glad I did. I got a, a ring and a gold chain off of it. And, uh, but already start this morning, I was in the water by six o'clock and I hit uh, the Texas Lake and then sh shot over to Louisiana, hit it and then shot up to Arkansas, all in the Arklatex, you know, I can hit three states in my area and still just be two hours, you know, uh, the furthest distance to be about two hours away, two and a half hours away. So uh, I made me my long trip, but it was worth it I had my day off. And I figured I better get a video in when I got a day off. And uh, so I got everything laid out. And uh, let's shoot this wrap up because I'm ready to go home. I got another hour drive and I'm exhausted. So let, let me show you what I found on this video. All right, here's my trash. I always enjoy showing you the trash because I want you to see that I dig a lot of trash. A shovel, a net, that's some old the steel and iron junk, batteries. There's your aluminum caps, your bottle caps. There's all your fishing gear, all your uh, vape pens, all your pull tabs, your beaver tails, and then you're just your square uh, pull tabs. So a lot of trash, a lot of trash this time around. Got a couple of toys. I got a little snake right there. I don't know what it does from Hobby Lobby. I got Captain America bracelet. It's my favorite superhero. Uh, I ended up getting one key out of the deal and I got one two three four five six seven dollars and quarters and I got five ten fifteen twenty twenty five twenty seven dimes five ten thirteen nickels and I got ten twenty nine dimes so a lot of clad this time around as well I uh, ended up getting uh, some Earrings. This one here says Israel. I can't find a, a stamp on it, but it feels gold. I'm going to test it when I get back uh, home. But it says Israel up on the clasp, and it feels like gold. And uh, this one here is just fake. But just some hoop earrings, some stud earrings, and uh, got a couple of junk necklaces there. That's a bracelet, I mean. I thought that was going to be gold, but it's just going to be fake. Another stainless steel uh bracelet got a couple of necklaces friends a heart i dug one of these on the last video as well i think it's in the same lake i think it's the same thing uh, i don't know what they go to some steel thing there i don't know what that is then i found some bling some sj here's all my bling check that out i don't know i was looking for the chain for that thing because that's going to be a big chain but there's some sj savior jesus and here's uh, Jesus here right here blinged out first blinged out Jesus ever had got him a diamond halo and a diamond uh, uh, Tunic there. I guess that's Jesus. I don't know. It could be Joseph. I don't know. It's one of those Catholic uh, Medallions, I don't know it was ringing up high, but I don't think it's silver It was ringing up in the 80s, but anyway nice find there put it with my Catholic collection. I got uh, spread your wings and fly Nothing on the back of that, just stainless steel. And Preacher Digger did get his dog tag, and he did get a cross. How about that? It was an episode this time around. Uh, just got through digging this. This, when I found, when it came up out of the scoop, man, I knew it was gold. I knew it was gold. It's 10 carat. 10 carat right there. I don't know if you can tell. But uh, 10 carat gold chain. So there's some gold there. My rings for today is a gumball machine junker. And then a probably was gold plated or silver plated at one time, just a copper CZ uh, wedding band. I got three stainless steel rings, pretty nice ones. 
Yes, stainless steel can be nice, uh, but uh, we dig, I dig a bunch of those. I dig a lot of stainless steel. And then, what else did I get? Oh, yeah, look how big this is. I mean, this thing will fit on my thumb. I'm going to... I'm going to put in the video right here as you're watching this what size this is. I bet that's about a 15 or 16. It's a tungsten carbide ring. Found that one there in Louisiana. And then I got some gold. This looks like a homemade gold ring. I can't find any counter stamp inside, but I'm going to test it when I get home. And I'll put it up here right beside it what it really is. Looks maybe 10 carat. Uh, so I got some gold there. There's my gold for the day. I like that. So overall, I got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rings. I got two necklaces, two bracelets, handful of earrings. I got uh, three necklaces here and some more pieces there and a lot of clad. So we had a good time. There's all the trash and there's all the treasure. And like I always say, the greatest treasure, my friend, is not going out all day long, getting sunburned, finding some good stuff, and making a, a wrap-up in your video. The greatest treasure, you know what I'm going to say, is found up in heaven. Keep searching, my friends. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just wish everybody happy hunting, and God bless.